Coach Beck from T3 Performance here to do a side-by-side -side breakdown of Christian Yelich. Uh, won a high school clip on the left and won a professional swing on the right. Um, you know, Christian Yelich had an amazing swing in high school, uh, but you can see the adjustments that he has made becoming a professional player, and you know obviously that's a, a must when you're you know facing high school pitching versus professional pitching. Um, but he has a lot of similarities in his swing, but the progression of it is is pretty pronounced in some way. So and I'm going to start out a little bit just by where his hand position is, which you know that's just a matter of being comfortable. Um, but from a movement standpoint, when you're in the pros and you're you know seeing mid 90s fastballs and cutters and crazy moving sliders, you know a lot of these hitters will tend to kind of get their hands to a position that's more close to where they want to start from in the launch position. So you can see he's. Um, you know, pretty close to the top of the zone, and you're going to see how he works it back a little bit. Um, the big thing I look at the loading mechanism of all hitters is how they load back and behind versus drifting towards the catcher, and you're going to see here this is where kind of the big difference is. Um, you'll see here in the high school clip here how he drifts a little bit back towards the catcher, where you see in his professional swing you'll see he sits behind doesn't really pass that line and keeps that energy stored in the back side a little bit better and longer so you'll see he does a great job on both sides here of getting into that back hip big time on the pro swing here where he sits behind a little bit as he brings his hands to his launch position and you see in the in the right clip here you don't see a whole lot of hand movement he just kind of cocks back a little bit before he starts his progression forward. And this is, you know, what separates his high school swing from his major league swing. You're going to see how he is able to stay in that back hip longer. When he gets his foot almost down, you still see his back knee is more towards the catcher where you'll see in the high school swing he starts to collapse a little bit. And as he's coming through his swing, you still see here as both heels get connected, this is... You know, another area where you can see a big difference. His barrel angle is still at the top of the zone, has not moved forward yet. So in his high school video, he's already kind of bringing his hands down a little bit. And as he's bringing his barrel through, you'll see here he was late on this pitch in high school. You can see the ball right there. And in his pro swing, he's right on time, and that was a home run. So coming through and bringing it back, you know, this is this is biggest thing for high school hitters is to be able to take a look at their swings and look at the adjustments that they need to make as they retire levels from high school to college to college to the minors, minors to the pros, and be willing to make those adjustments. Less is more when you're you know, facing high level pitching. You know, the less movement you can you can have, the better your timing is going to be. So again, you see here, this is awesome right here. I mean, he does a great job even in high school here of just get into a good load position and then through this is again you see how long he's able to hold that backside which is big into the higher levels good stuff